Greetings and salutations. Today we'll take a look at the Ignite Emissary plugin from STL Tones. This could very well be the best and most versatile free amp sim out there. As far as I'm aware, this plugin isn't based on any particular amp. It's just a solid, custom design from the digital ground up, high gain amp with some mad ass clean tones as well. And if you download the standalone version, it doesn't come with a cab section. But you can also download STL Tone's free impulse loader called NatIR. You also get about six solid free impulse responses as well. The other good thing about this amp sim, very low system usage. So this won't chug down your CPU like some other plugins. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can download the plugin if you haven't already. This is easily my number one recommendation when people ask me what's the best free amp sim for heavy metal guitars. Now we'll listen to a song that I did using the Ignite Emissary plugin. After that I'll run you through a quick demo of the guitar tones by themselves so you can see exactly what I did to get the tone that I used. Please like and subscribe if you are liking the content and enjoy indeed. Thanks guys. Alright guys, here we are in Reaper. I'll just give you a quick rundown on what I did in the song that I just did. Okay, so first of all, the drums, I was using Easy Drummer 3, using the metal expansion, but I believe for the snare, I actually used the snare from uh, the time of John Tampesta snare from Metal Machine expansion. I think the toms were from Made f Made of Metal. Uh, no, some of them were from Metal Machine. And for the kicks, I actually used a custom kick that I made. Uh, the cymbals. From duality progressive kit so I basically made a Franken kit from a bunch of different expansions for this one I wanted something a little bit more unique bass tone parallax like always Okay, now to the main thing, which is the main focus of the video, which is Ignite Emissary. So the whole tone, all four guitars together, as you know, I dual, dual track. 
Sounds like this. One thing I've started doing lately, uh, and I just feel it fills out the, the whole sound a little bit more, is I'll use the same tone for the amp, but then over in the cab section, what I do is, so basically all my settings on my amp here are the same for each instance that I use. You can see. Oop. But what I do is I'll use different cabs and mics across all four guitars. I just feel it creates, I mean, obviously you have to trial and error because you don't want anything that's too clashing, but each one is a little different, a little unique. So if I say do this, Another thing I've also started doing is I'll have two all the way left and right at 100 and then I just bring two of them left and right into about 84, 85%. Just creates a nice little uh, like wall of sound I find on my obviously master folder for these I've got as always neutron elements with my EQ curve there. Cutting off at 63 hertz and 6,000 hertz at the top. If I turn this off, you can really hear what it's doing. A lot of high end fizz. I find it on most dual rectifier plugins. Uh, not just from STL tones, but from a lot of us, and even uh, especially ML Sound Lab um, one. Very like a lot of high end hiss, so you really want to cut out that at the top there. Uh, TR5 black compressor from um, IK Multimedia. I really like that too, it gives it a nice thump. So that's pretty much all I'm doing there guys, uh, there's my settings for the amp if you want to at any time pause and try to copy it. Um, this is actually an amp hub, you can get the standalone free version so you don't have to buy an amp hub for the Ignite Emissary. Again like I said this is probably my most recommended thing that like guitar amp plugin that I could ever do. If anyone asks me for a free one I definitely recommend this because it's got amazing clean tones as well which i didn't demonstrate in this but um trust me it has got really nice clean tones as well so there we go hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy indeed thanks guys